Once again, I was a novelty. Like a slinky. It's really interesting, though, that you all have had me here today because I think one of the most revelatory moments in my life happened at the Tampa airport when I was down here to do the Georgetown USF basketball game a couple of months ago. I was walking off the tram. By the way, why are there like six security checkpoints at the Tampa airport? Like they check you here, they check you there, and then they check you here. Uh, get off the tram, go through like the ninth security checkpoint. And I walk up with my bag slung over my shoulder and my rolling uh, garment bag. And the gentleman at the TSA says, Sir, do you need a cane? I almost said yes to wrap you over the head with. But I've gotten better at that. So I said to him with a smile, it was early in the morning, I said, how do you think I got here in the first place? <laughs> and it was an older gentleman, and he said, you know what, you're right. And he smiled at me, and I said, have a nice day. I got to thinking immediately, actually, no reflection period, it was just immediate. I get a chance every day to inform people about what disabilities are, what they can and can't do, what they can and can't cause. And what they can and can't do to somebody's psyche. And that gentleman went home and I hope, and I think, considering the honest smile he had on his face, I think he told somebody what happened at the airport that day. I think he did. And I know he was trying to be helpful, but now I think he's going to be helpful in a different way next time. Or else he's really going to get it with that cane. <laughs> I, uh, I took the easy way out. I'm a radio and TV announcer. Nobody sees me when I do what I do. You all here are the absolute heroes. You all are the ones who have overcome and can beat your chests and say, watch me do what I do. People watch me, but they don't see me very much. In a world where so many things are like baseball season, mundane, old hat, bland, you are interesting and novel and intriguing and awesome. In order to have a great story, you don't need a band director. You don't need a foul ball to slug you in the chest. And you don't need a dog named after a wide receiver. You are you and you are interesting. You are fantastic, and you are unique. And though I might have taken the easy way out, the lesson within my band choice to get behind a microphone is this. When you're given a situation where there's a hurdle, find a unique, creative and novel solution to that hurdle because you all in this room have a better eye for it than anyone else. Thank you.